everyone. Welcome back to Storytime. A very special lady named Josie gave me this book to read. It's called Critter Crackers, the ABC book of limericks. Written and illustrated by Catherine Barron, who's from where I am. There's a big alligator named Al who lives by a swampy canal. If you see him grin, then he's taken you in. For gators love lunch with a pal. There once was a beaver named Lee, who thought he could eat a whole tree. He began at the bottom, but it toppled and got him. Now his tail is as flat as can be. A camel in Kalamazoo served tea to the Sheik of Shamu. With politeness extreme, she'd ask, sugar or cream? And then, is that one hump or two? A clever young dolphin named Dwight likes to search in the ocean at night. Of the dark, he's not scared, cause he swims well prepared with a high powered, waterproof light. An elephant said, I suppose, some people make fun of my nose, but on hot summer days, I cool off in its sprays, cause my trunk doubles up as a hose. Freddy the frog was unwise. He was tired of eating just flies. So he tasted some bees, then he gasped and he wheezed. Their stingers were quite a surprise. A goofy gorilla named Lou entertains all the folks at the zoo. As they giggle and grin and say, look at him. He turns back and laughs, look at you. A spiny old hedgehog named Pickles admired his beautiful stickles. I've got spines and not fuzz and I'm laughing because when I roll myself up, it sure tickles. A cute little inchworm named Porter was always the kid who was shorter. Then one day by a fence, he found 25 cents. And now he's an inch and a quarter. I know a swift jaguar named Jim, who's speedy and wiry and slim. When he whizzes past, he's going so fast that his spots can't keep up with him. There once was a lost kangaroo whose mother cried out, where are you? Said his dad, try your pocket. This key should unlock it. And Joey popped out, peekaboo. A fearless young lion named Wayne was prowling outside in the rain. A lightning bolt hit him. Like a light bulb, it lit him. Now he has an electrified mane. A Mexican mouse named Jose ate hot chili peppers all day. He heaped his plate higher till his breath caught on fire. And he toasted his whiskers away. Nigel, a negligent newt, misplaced his mother's gold flute. It was found near the stairs in a jar of canned pears in the sleeve of his father's best suit. A little opossum said, wee, I can swing by my tail from a tree. The ground is a sky and the grass is a pie. Now this is how nature should be. A hungry old pigeon named Mark ate popcorn and nuts in the park. Before he exploded, he was tied up and loaded to his home by three crows and a lark. Quincy, a seagoing quail, was sailing to France in a pail. He got sick from the motion and fell in the ocean and was carried to shore by a whale. Ricky, a ring-tailed raccoon, 
ate ice cream on a hot afternoon. The ice cream got squishy, and Ricky sure wished he had snacked by the light of the moon. A silly old serpent named Vance was invited to go to a dance. He spent 50 bucks and rented a tux, but he couldn't fit into the pants. A man-eating tiger named Thor broke right through the walls of a store. But there was no panic in stalking a mannequin. Hunting dummies was really a bore. In rain, the umbrella bird sloshes. In puddles, she splashes and splashes. Her umbrella's so high, her feet won't stay dry. So she keeps some inside her galoshes. Vanessa the vulture sighed, oh, I'm not pretty like Carol the crow. Said her mother, don't weep, beauty's just feather deep. You're the prettiest vulture I know. I know of a walrus named Willie, whose fear of the water is silly. On his iceberg he blubbers with other landlubbers. He says that the water's too chilly. A creature beginning with X has left me completely perplexed. I can't think of many. I'm not sure there's any. So let's just go on to the next. Yogi, a talkative yak, talked till his friends hollered, Ack! If you don't shut your mouth, you'll be known north and south as Yogi the Yakety Yak. There once was a zebra named Zay, whose stripes all had vanished away. And now he has lots of pink polka dots, of which he is proud, I must say. Aren't limericks so much fun? Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow.